Welcome, I'm Aggie. We are here today for a very special Global Week to Act for SDG, Re-Revolution Edition of the Turning Point Dialogue Series. We are turning around for the underprivileged children's education in Pakistan. Join me here today to share the inspirational insights into how and why we must fight for this transformative change is Mozan Shah Baraki, the founder of Walkway School helping hundreds of children from underprivileged backgrounds to have access to education in the region of Pakistan, especially Hyderabad and Tar Desert. Thank you so much for joining us today. So good to see you. Thank you so much for having me here today, Aggie. Likewise, it's always so good to see you guys. It's refreshing. Okay, question one. Um, so we are here today to talk about the power, necessity and opportunity of this moment as a turning point for the people and the planet. Um, so can you tell us what is the current reality uh, for the underprivileged children's education in Pakistan? And why is this moment critical for uh, you know, major shifts to happen? And how can we better engage different sectors of society to take action together? So thank you so much for having me here today, Aggie. It is indeed an honor for me to be here. Everybody at the Walkway School conveys their heartfelt gratitude to you and your team for their constant support and for being truly amazing. According to UNICEF's report, 22.8 million children are out of schools in Pakistan from the age group 4 to 16 years, making it 50 to 60 percent of the total population of that particular age group in Pakistan. So you know how grave the situation is. Uh, while the developing countries are moving forth towards achieving wonders and reaching safe already, countries like Pakistan are sadly unable to win, provide one basic right to their children, which is education. Education was never a privilege, is never a privilege, and will never be a privilege. Education is a right. So it is of importance for people like us, the privileged ones, to ensure the states are taken in order to provide equal and safe access to education and educational opportunities to the people of underprivileged and underdeveloped backgrounds. Um, because if we want, then who? Uh, and if not now, then when? Uh, there will be no more deadlines. There is a great, great responsibility lying on this generation's shoulder. We need to look back into the past and we need to make sure that we do not repeat the same mistakes that our elders did back in the past so that we and the ones to come in the future can have a more sustainable and a better future. For this, uh, organizations, corporations, movement like this need to come forth and need to mobilize on the ground, uh, uh, grassroots levels in order to ensure that each and every single child is provided what is his or her basic right. Awesome. Um, so let's explore what could be different and how would the change look like. Um, so can you tell us uh, what is your vision for how youth and children living in remote villages have equal access to education and what must happen to get us there? Aggie, trust me, my vision has always been wanting to see the chi children of laborers, domestic help, workers, to share the same classroom with the children of their parents' employer. There could be nothing more beautiful than seeing all the classes of the society, children from belonging from diversified backgrounds sitting together in a single room, sharing the same classroom, explicit of financial backgrounds, explicit of the family backgrounds, and nothing can be more beautiful than this because every child deserves to be a part of the classroom. And similarly, every child deserves to be outstandingly amazing in a classroom. In most of the cases that we deal with here, uh, there are no direct opportunities or facilities available within other areas or communities. So parents uh, simply don't send their children to other localities in order to get the education, because with that comes the financial responsibility, which obviously in certain times, in these times, especially in pandemic, has gotten more worse. So the solution is simple. It's right there. We need to provide them opportunities and facilities right there, like the walkway school is, uh, so that they don't have to worry about anything. The facilities are available right within their communities and they get their uh, 
education at least up to high school right from their localities uh and i guess again for that movements organizations businesses individuals youth groups they all need to come together and work towards establishing such sustainable institutes beautiful i love how you picture your vision um so actually many people who are watching this video at home uh, will be individuals who may not be aware of the action they can take to support this transformation so what would be your call to action for anyone who like to play their part towards this making this vision reality aggie i've always said this one thing an individual is way more powerful powerful than a group of people an individual can do wonders and we need to re realize it all the great movements resistances organizations corporations companies like apple google and what not they were nothing but a single step taken by an individual so we need to realize uh, how much power lies within the decision of an individual who knew i'd be talking to you guys in front, in front of you guys right here and leading the region's prominent youth led organization uh, i never knew uh, all i did was take a single step towards my calling to find my calling to find my cause uh, and here i am today in front of you talking about my vision and the work that i have been doing uh, a guy who used to roam around the streets of uh, hyderabad uh, go door to door engage communities and beg them to send their children at our facility has now uh, a request of getting the children enrolled more than their capacity so you know how beautiful the journey is uh, and we started from a local park it was all but a single step taken by an individual so people listening to this need to realize they need to take a single step towards their calling towards their cause everything will start falling in place uh, as you know i've always seen finance is never a problem but a vision is if you have a vision finance and people and support everything will come and everything will start making sense to you so yeah individuals need to realize that and need to take individual uh steps uh, within their neighborhoods within their communities to ensure that nobody uh, sleeps hungry at the night and so this dg uh, zero hunger they, they 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 can make sure by sending few children to the school so that they make sure that sdg 04 is uh uh completed and achieved so this is how basically it's all the individual steps that play the part in the holistic and the whole view thank you so much for sharing we're always very proud of how far you have come um so we know that recently the work with school has uh, build an actual school in Tar Desert, which is really cool. Uh, so we just want to know more about inspiration, um, like what inspired you. Can you uh, share maybe a person, a book, a project, or maybe a piece of art that actually inspires you um, that we'd like to share with our community? Uh, I'd like to add another thing. Uh... We are also going to open our second facility in Third Desert very soon. Uh, I was supposed to disclose it to you yesterday, but here it is. We are going to uh, inaugurate our second uh, fa second facility in Third Parker uh, in a few months, and it will be facilitating more than 200 children of that locality. So uh, when it comes to me being inspired by someone, there is not a single person uh but a few things that inspire me uh i wanted to quit community services long ago uh because uh of the severe depression and anxiety that i have been going through uh, now i am disclosing this in the public for the first time uh so one day my mom came up to me and said mozam uh do not ever close your door to the ones who come for your help for god is helping his people through you never give up uh, and that thing has remained with me since then. Uh, still, whenever I talk about that, those moments, I get teary. I'm getting teary right now. Uh, but uh, the person that I am today uh, is because of my mom. Uh, the person I was, the person I am, the person I will be. All the amazing work that my team and I have been doing 
it's because my mom has inspired me to do so. Uh, and I'd like to take this moment and dedicate uh, the work of the Walkway School to all the amazing mommies out there who leave no stone unturned in raising their children in best of the ways. Uh, and with mommies uh, comes an other person uh, which inspires, which inspires me a lot. Uh, that father uh, with hope in his eyes that his children are going to study at good quality uh, private schools after he or she gets admitted into the walkway. That hope and that happiness, it just makes me keep going and going and going. And even the idea of it is, Aggie, it is so amazing. Thank you so much for joining us for this important conversation as we mobilize as part of the Global Week to act for SDGs, to turn it around for people and planet together. Uh, to change everything will take everyone. Joining us at www.act4sdg.org.